rebirth of apocalyptic disasters, hoarding of goods, upgrading of female belly black space, introduction. Lin Tian, who struggled for a month in the extreme cold apocalypse, was stabbed in the back by his girlfriend, Bai Lianhua, and was tormented to death, divided and eaten. Like a dream of a yellow sorghum, when he opened his eyes again, he had already returned to the end of the world. In this life, with space in his heart and a frenzy of hoarding supplies, Lin Tian swore to live for himself. Ex-girlfriend Lin Tian, can you give us something to eat? We're starving to death Lin Tian. Get out of here. What identity do you have to cooperate with me when speaking? Neighbor. Lin Tian, hurry up and take out the supplies, otherwise we'll snatch them Lin Tian. Do you want to grab it? I've been waiting for you animals for a long time. First, ask if the gun in my hand agrees or not. Introduction is weak, please move to the main text. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Returning to the End of the World You are listening at NovelFull.audio Pain, it hurts too much. I don't know how many times I have fainted and woken up again. Lin Tian slowly opened his eyes, his hands and feet had already been cut off, and he had been divided and eaten by his former good neighbor and white lotus girlfriend's family. That is to say, Lin Tian is completely a living human being. At this moment, a fervent and excited voice came into Lin Tian's ears, and he would never forget that it was the voice of his white lotus girlfriend Zhang Qian. It's finally standing up. Sister, we have something to eat today. Lin Tian didn't know how Zhang Qian's family was tormenting him again, and his eyes looked down at him. At this moment, a cold light sounded under Lin Tian's body, and he could no longer feel his third leg. Blood was gurgling under my body, and then intense pain hit me again. Ah! Lin Tian exclaimed in pain. What's your name? It's so noisy. Bang! The next moment, Lin Tian's head was hit hard with a hammer, and blood flowed down his neck. The crescent-shaped jade pendant on his neck was directly stained red with blood. In the final stage of his life, he heard terrifying sounds again. Don't waste it, quickly find a basin to drain all the blood. After an unknown amount of time, Lin Tian slowly woke up and looked at his familiar room, feeling a wave of doubt. Hmm. Is this my room? I was tortured to death by Zhang Qian's family, wasn't it? When Lin Tian looked at the calendar on the wall, he was directly stunned. May 15, 2033 isn't this two months before the outbreak of the apocalypse? Am I reborn? Like a dream of yellow sorghum, waking up in a moment. Lin Tian rolled over and stood up from the bed, looking at his hands and feet, both intact. Then, as if remembering something, he quickly opened his pajamas. His good brother lay intact. It's okay. Still there. Woo 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 woo. At the next moment, Lin Tian lay down on the bed and burst into tears, recalling everything he had experienced in the apocalypse with lingering fear. Fortunately, he was reborn. Lin Tian, a native of the Shanghai Stock Exchange in Longhua, grew up in a wealthy family from a young age when his parents were engaged in trade. He can be said to be a reliable second-generation wealthy individual. There are unexpected circumstances. Last year, my parents went to Lighthouse Country to discuss business, but unexpectedly, a car accident occurred and they both went to heaven. My parents left Lin Tian three properties, along with savings from doing business over the years in compensation, totaling around 20 million yuan. After his parents passed away, Lin Tian remained depressed for a long time and couldn't get out of sadness until he met his girlfriend Zhang Qian. Lin Tian initially felt that the other person was so beautiful, gentle, and understanding, accompanying him through the dark time of losing his parents. Of course, Lin Tian is also obedient to Zhang Qian. Lipstick, perfume and bags are really responsive, and he is also very good to the Zhang family. 
Lin Tian once thought that he would live with Zhang Qian forever. But all of this is just that white lotus flower pretending, Lin Tian is just Zhang Qian's spare tire, with the purpose of constantly pulling wool from Lin Tian. During the period after the outbreak of the extreme cold apocalypse, Lin Tian occasionally secretly brought some food to Zhang Qian's family. But as time passed, his food became less and less. Later, Zhang Qian tricked Lin Tian into opening the door, but when Lin Tian opened the door, he was dumbfounded and a group of people rushed in. They robbed Lin Tian's house and food, and after eating all the food, they cruelly divided Lin Tian and ate it. The outcome can be said to be tragic. Wait, those who harmed me, Lin Tian will definitely double his revenge in this life. Gollum Gollum just then, a protest came from Lin Tian's stomach. Lin Tian, who had experienced the extreme cold apocalypse, had nothing more attractive to him than food. He looked at a piece of bread on the coffee table and was extremely excited. Just as he reached out to grab the bread, a strange scene appeared. Brush. The bread on the coffee table disappeared directly. What's going on? Did you see the ghost? But what surprised Lin Tian even more in the next moment was that the piece of bread just now was lying quietly in his conscious space. I'll go, is this the awakening of spatial abilities after rebirth? Sure enough, those who are reborn through time have golden fingers. Lin Tian immersed himself in the sea of consciousness and immediately discovered an endless space, with a spot of light appearing at the center of the space. With a thought, Lin Tian's body disappeared directly into the living room. The next moment, Lin Tian appeared in a space, which was about five acres in size. He squatted down and dug up some soil with his hands. When he picked it up, he saw that the soil was moist, dark, and shiny, and it looked very fertile. Not far away, a very small stream slowly flowed. Lin Tian came forward to check the clear water of the stream. He followed the stream upstream and soon discovered a spring the size of a bowl mouth. Is this the birthplace of the stream? Looking at the clear spring in front of him, Lin Tian couldn't resist any longer. Regardless of whether it was dangerous or not, he lay down at the edge of the spring and started drinking it gurgling. The spring water was clear and sweet, and Lin Tian drank heavily, half full. It's really delicious. After drinking the spring water, Lin Tian felt a boost in his spirits and his hunger was not as strong as before. Hee hee, is this the legendary spiritual spring of space? Not bad very good. At this moment, Lin Tian noticed a stone tablet standing beside the spring, emitting a very ancient atmosphere. He walked over and involuntarily touched it with his hands. A stream of ancient information directed directly towards Lin Tian's brain, and then he fainted by the spring water. I don't know how long it took, but Lin Tian woke up leisurely and then learned about the origin of space. The space he is currently in is a paradise opened up by an ancient superpower named Xin Yuzhenren, and the carrier of this space is the crescent-shaped jade pendant around Lin Tian's neck. I don't know when this jade pendant was obtained by the Lin family, and it has been passed down from generation to generation, and this generation has come into his hands. Before Lin Tian's death, Blood soaked the jade pendant around his neck. Then the jade pendant recognized its owner, and the fusion of Lin Tian and space triggered the power of time and space, and he was reborn. According to the transmitted memory, Lin Tian learned that this paradise was vast and boundless a long time ago. However, as the external spiritual energy decreased, the space began to gradually shrink, and now it is only five acres in size. It's a bit exaggerated to call you Dongdian Feudy now, but in the future, I'll just call you Life Space. Although it is only the size of five acres of land, it can contain life, and the space has integrated with the forest, which is a great opportunity. Not to mention the vast and boundless personal space outside of this living space. Although it cannot hold living creatures, it can be used to store supplies. The portable space outside the living space is in a completely static state of time, whether anything is put in or taken out. Lin Tian was worried about how to store the goods after hoarding, 
but now he no longer has such concerns. The combination of living space and unlimited personal space is the biggest trump card for Lin Tian to survive in the upcoming apocalypse. Gollum Gollum Lin Tian's stomach made a protest sound, and without hesitation, a thought flashed. He appeared in the living room. No, we have to go out for dinner. Lin Tian currently lives in a villa in the Longziwan community, covering an area of 300 square meters. It has one underground floor and three above ground floors, which were purchased by his parents many years ago. Take the key, close the door, and walk outside the community. As a person of two generations, Lin Tian can't wait to have a full meal. Chapter 2 White Lotus Girlfriend You are listening at NovelFull.audio Lin Tian left the community all the way and came directly to a Sichuan restaurant called Shuxianglu outside. This restaurant has a good taste and has been open outside the community for many years. He also frequents it frequently. I found a seat by the window when I entered, and the waiter walked over with the menu. Welcome, what would you like to eat? Lin Tian looked up and saw a 17 or 18 year old girl with a pair of ponytails, pure and lovely, reaching out and handing over a menu. This girl Lin Tian knows, her name is Tang Shishu, and she is the daughter of the owner of this Sichuan restaurant. Kung Pao chicken, pickled Chinese cabbage fish, twice cooked pork, spicy chicken. Lin Tian ordered eight dishes and one soup in one breath, and then ordered another bowl of rice before finally giving up. All right, that's all for now. If it's not enough, I'll take it again. Lin Tian handed the menu back to Tang Shishu and looked at the other person still standing there. He furrowed his brows and asked, what's wrong, isn't the restaurant you ordered? Tang Shishu quickly waved his hand and said, no, 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 I just saw you order so many dishes alone. If you can't finish them, it's a waste. Lin Tian chuckled, he only wanted to have a full meal now, everything else was not important. You just need to serve the dishes quickly. After speaking, Lin Tian ignored Tang Shishu and took out his phone from his pocket to check. Looking at the dozen or so missed calls on my phone, all of which were from Zhang Qian, I clicked on the Feixin chat app and opened the chat interface with Zhang Qian. Lin Tian, my best friend and I are shopping outside. The donkey brand handbag has released a new product. Can you transfer 50,000 yuan to me? Lin Tian, what are you doing? Answer the phone quickly. What's wrong with you? Are you missing or want to rebel? I'm angry, Lin Tian. Do you know how awkward I was just in the store? If you don't transfer me 100,000 yuan, I won't forgive you this time. Lin Tian looked at the message sent by Zhang Qian and chuckled in self-deprecation. He had spent hundreds of thousands of money on Zhang Qian in the past year, and if today's situation were to be discussed in the past, he would definitely transfer money to compensate Zhang Qian. But now Lin Tian has experienced the cruelty of the apocalypse, and his mind has already changed. He wouldn't care about this white lotus flower. He he, wait. Let's play slowly in this life and see how I can kill you. In no time, the delicious food was served one after another, and Lin Tian didn't hesitate. He filled himself with a bowl of rice and wolfed it down. Have you never eaten in eight lifetimes? Still released from prison just now. The appearance of Lin Tian's vicious dog pouncing on food left Tang Shishu and the customers in the store both shocked. After being swept away by the wind and clouds, a dish was swept away in just a few minutes. An hour later, Lin Tian hiccuped a few times and took a sip of tea to rinse his mouth. TSK 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 Finally, I'm full. Lin Tian, who was extremely satisfied, came to the bar to check out and ate nearly 300 yuan alone. Lin Tian walked back to his villa in Longziwan community and took a good hot bath. This kind of enjoyment was a luxury in the extremely cold end of the world, even if he wanted to take a sip of hot water, it was extremely difficult. Ding dong. Ding dong. 
Lin Tiangang wrapped himself in a towel when the doorbell at the villa door rang, followed by an extremely impatient voice. Lin Tian, I know you're at home, open the door for me quickly. Quickly open the door for me. This voice will never be forgotten by Lin Tian in his lifetime, it is his white lotus girlfriend Zhang Qian. Lin Tian's face darkened as he put on his clothes and arrived at the entrance of the villa, where he happened to see Zhang Qian making a big fuss and tapping the iron door. Although Zhang Qian is a white lotus flower, it cannot be denied that her appearance is still top dot notch, otherwise Lin Tian would not be infatuated with her. A head of golden waves, a slender neck, wearing a red off-shoulder dress with a short skirt wrapped around the hips, black stockings wrapped around the thighs, and a pair of 10 cm high heels on the slender thighs. The figure is curvy and stylish, with an absolute beauty score of 8.8 .8 or above. Lin Tian, what's going on today? Please explain it to me clearly. As soon as he walked to the entrance of the villa, Zhang Qian gave a stern questioning. If Lin Tian had been before, he would have apologized directly now. Explain what? What kind of person are you? What do you think I need to explain to you? Lin Tian's three consecutive soul interrogations with one click left Zhang Qian completely unresponsive. She thought to herself, did the other person take the wrong medicine today? How dare they speak to her in such a tone? Zhang Qian flicked her hair on her shoulders, hugged her chest with both hands, and let out a cold snort. Her tone remained stiff as she said, open the door, let's go into the house and talk about anything. I don't think it's necessary anymore. If there's anything, just hurry up. I'm tired and need to rest. Lin Tian replied calmly. What? Lin Tian, I gave you face today, didn't I? If you don't open the door, believe it or not, we'll break up. Unable to be soft, Zhang Qian began to use her own trump card again. In the past, whenever she broke up, Lin Tian, the licking dog, would definitely kneel and beg for forgiveness. Well, let him buy the bag he was looking at today and give him tens of thousands of yuan in pocket money. At that time, I will temporarily forgive the other party and give him another chance to lick myself. Zhang Qian had already imagined in her mind the scene of Lin Tian kneeling in front of her and pleading desperately. Humph. This licking dog doesn't know how much it weighs without giving him any color. But the scene in Zhang Qian's imagination did not come, instead, she waited for a shocking sentence. Lin Tian said calmly and lightly, he he, okay Zhang Qian, I was supposed to break up with you today. Since you also have this idea, I will officially notify you now. Let's break up. Remember, it was me Lin Tian who dumped you. Zhang Qian opened her mouth wide and couldn't believe it for a moment. How dare he! Although she didn't know how much money Lin Tian had, Zhang Qian knew that the other party had three properties, and she had also gained many benefits from Lin Tian over the past year. Although Lin Tian is just one of the many fish raised by Zhang Qian in the pond, it is still very large and rough. If this licking dog stops licking in the future, what about your own bag, lipstick, and cosmetics? Will Michelin restaurants, luxurious hotels, and domestic and international tourism all leave her far away? Did your regular pocket money also go to waste? Think carefully and be extremely scared. No way. Lin Tian, this licking dog, must not give up easily. But today the other party's attitude was very abnormal. Zhang Qian felt that she was going too far in her daily life. After all, she had been dating for almost a year, and Lin Tian had not taken any advantage of her. Thinking of this, Zhang Qian immediately changed her face, with a very hypocritical smile on her face and a much gentler voice. She spoke. Lin Tian, have you encountered something bothersome? Tell me, I will help you with your guidance, actually, what I just said was just angry. Let's not break up, okay? In the future, they will ask you to hold their little hand from time to time I Nima. Lin Tian couldn't help but feel nauseous as he watched Zhang Qian, who was scratching her head and playing with a clip sound. 
he felt like his brain had collapsed before. He had a house, a car, and savings in the Shanghai stock market, and his parents had both died, making him a high dot quality man in the eyes of women. What kind of woman cannot be found, why fall in love with a single flower and give up the entire forest? The key is that this year, let alone eating meat, I haven't even kissed my mouth or pulled my hand. His only function is Zhang Qian's ATM, that's all. All right, I'm not joking with you. Don't contact me again in the future. Lin Tian's attitude was very resolute. He put down this sentence and went straight back to his villa, but Zhang Qian refused to give up and kept shouting at the door. Lin Tian, you heartless person, it's not that easy to break up with me. You forget who accompanied you through the days of losing your parents, who took care of you, comforted you, and comforted you. You have crossed rivers and bridges. I don't even have a chance to break up. I've spent a whole year of my youth on you. You must give me an explanation. Zhang Qian beeped at the door for a while, and Lin Tian felt like his ears were about to explode. In the end, he had no choice but to call the property security to drive her away. Zhang Qian returned home with a belly full of anger, slamming her bag fiercely onto the sofa. The Zhang family quickly asked what was going on as soon as they saw that the situation was not right. This question doesn't matter, Zhang's mother found out that Lin Tian was going to break up with her daughter. This is absolutely unacceptable. Zhang's mother said with some concern, Qian Qian, your younger brother is about to get married. If you break up with Lin Tian, then your brother's wedding house will not be available. Zhang Qian's younger brother, Zhang Xiaojie, was worried that his wedding house was gone and was very anxious. He quickly reminded him. Yes, yes, sister. Lin Tian agreed to give me a house to get married. If I didn't have a house, Xiao Xue would definitely not marry me. Zhang Qian's sister, Zhang Ying, had a faint smile on her face. She knew very well about her younger sister, who kept fish every day. Now, it's okay, let's have some problems with her. Although it was a bit schadenfreude, after all, it was my own sister who still gave me an idea. Sister, hanging a man all the time is not enough. It's like flying a kite, neither long nor short. Everything needs to be just right, he he, Lin Tian hasn't even pulled your hand, has he? It's okay in the short term, which man can handle it over time Zhang Qian pouted and thought to herself, Sister, you have rich experience. Why are you almost thirty years old and haven't even caught a champion, he he, even if there is a theory in the air, the actual results cannot be achieved. However, Zhang's father strongly agrees with Zhang Ying's viewpoint, and the most important thing now is to solve the issue of his son's marriage house. So Zhang's father also spoke up, Chan Chan, no matter what means you use, you must get the house. Our whole family relies on you. Oh, I got it. Although Zhang Qian was unwilling and unwilling, she still nodded and agreed. After all, Lin Tian's condition was the best among the spare tires, and she didn't want to give up just like that. Chapter 3 Stock Up Plan You are listening at NovelFull.audio The next day, Lin Tian slept until the third pole of the day before waking up. It had been a long time since he had such a peaceful deep sleep. In the apocalypse, his nerves were tense every day, either thinking about how to eat or being prepared for being robbed of his supplies. Lin Tian ordered himself a big bowl of egg noodles and had a delicious breakfast. This year he lived alone, although his cooking skills were not as good as those of restaurant chefs, he could barely get in. After finishing his meal, Lin Tian sat in front of the computer and began to plan. The end of the extreme cold is only two months away, when heavy snow drifts and cold winds ravage. The temperature drops sharply to minus 60.70 degrees Celsius, and most crops and plants freeze to death, leading to a sharp decline in global population. So, what is most important in the apocalypse? Supplies. Supplies. Still supplies. Say important things three times. 
In the apocalypse, even a bucket of instant noodles or a piece of bread can make a woman give her everything, make a group of people bleed and even sacrifice their lives. Lin Tian worked hard on the computer all afternoon and finally compiled a list of supplies needed in the apocalypse. The first one is freshwater grains. People are iron rice and steel, and they feel anxious not to eat a meal. Therefore, rice, millet, flour, corn, various beans, and grains are essential, of course, there is still fresh water. Lin Tian doesn't want to risk the end of the world and go out to shovel snow and melt water. The second is vegetables and fruits. If the human body does not consume vitamins for a long time, it will lead to a decrease in immune function, and the probability of getting sick will greatly increase in the extreme cold end. Therefore, vegetables, tomatoes, Chinese cabbage, carrots, cowpeas, taro, green beans, round cabbage, chrysanthemum, cauliflower, potatoes, shiitake mushrooms, broccoli, and so on are essential, of course, watermelons, apples, bananas, pears, oranges, grapes, strawberries, grapefruits, pineapples, and so on are also indispensable. Think about what happiness it would be if fruit freedom could be achieved in the apocalypse. The third is salt and carbohydrates, which are quite important. If the human body has a low intake of salt for a long time, it can affect the nervous system, causing symptoms such as mental fatigue, lack of concentration, weakness, vomiting, and coma. As for the importance of sugar, it goes without saying that it has always been a strategic resource from ancient times to the present. The fourth one is meat. Lin Tian is a person who enjoys meat, so chicken, duck, pork, beef, lamb, fish, shrimp whether it's flying in the sky, running on the ground, or swimming in the water, they all need to stock up. The fifth category is snacks, beverages, and seasonings. In the apocalypse it is also necessary to eat, drink, and relax, as well as to relax and adjust. A table of delicious food and regular snacks are essential. The sixth category is tobacco, alcohol, and tea, especially tobacco and alcohol, which are hard currency. Many old smokers even fought for a cigarette but in the apocalypse, let alone alcohol that can warm their bodies in the extremely cold apocalypse. Must be hoarded. The seventh category is energy and thermal insulation. After the outbreak of the extreme cold, the power supply system gradually became paralyzed, including gasoline and diesel engines and their supporting generators, coal and wood, as well as supporting heating fireplaces, extreme cold clothing and thermal insulation equipment, all of which need to be considered. The eighth category is medicine. In the apocalypse, the most common cold can be fatal. An anti-inflammatory drug can save lives, and Lin Tian cannot guarantee that he will not get sick. Medications must be arranged. The ninth one is related to weapons and transportation vehicles. As the saying goes, we don't hoard guns when storing grain. Our neighbor is our granary, and Lin Tian doesn't want the materials he has worked hard to accumulate to be used as wedding clothes for others. He might as well find a piece of tofu and hit it to death. However, the Dragon Kingdom has strict regulations on firearms, ammunition, and controlled knives, which are not accessible to ordinary people. Therefore, this matter needs to be considered in the long run, and we cannot go to the Lighthouse Kingdom at that time. As for transportation, this is easy to handle, but it still needs to be modified to adapt to the post-apocalyptic environment. The tenth is the safe house, which Lin Tian believes is the most important. The importance of an unbreakable and comfortable safe house is self.evident, which is the foundation for his survival. In the apocalypse it is common to be robbed of all supplies and even killed by breaking into doors. If I had a strong fortress, I would remain steadfast despite the storms outside. Lin Tian has exhausted his brain and currently only thinks of so much. When it comes to hoarding supplies, he will see and replenish them. After checking, it was already five o'clock in the afternoon. He had been busy for so long and his stomach was a bit hungry. He put on his clothes and took the car key, ready to go out and treat himself well. 
a Porsche Panamera parked at the entrance of the Shanghai Crown Intercontinental Hotel. Park my car properly. Lin Tianxia threw the car key to the waiter, who couldn't help but give a tip. The latter looked at the hundred yuan bill in his hand and was very attentive, so he parked the car in a bumpy manner. Welcome. As soon as Lin Tian entered the hotel gate, four beautiful waiters wearing kipeos bent down and bowed. In a stunning glance, he saw the towering snow dot white peaks. At this moment, one of the well dot equipped beautiful waiters stepped forward and smiled. Sir, how many of you? One person. Lin Tian glanced at the other person, um, definitely at the D-plus level. On your end, please. Under the guidance of the beautiful waiter, Lin Tian sat down in a window seat, flipped through the menu and closed it. He looked at the waiter in front of him and said, I won't look at the menu anymore. Can you introduce your specialty dishes? Upon hearing Lin Tian's words, the beautiful waitress was impressed. It should be noted that at the Crown Intercontinental Hotel, a portion of the waitress's income comes from the commission on the dishes, and the more they sell, the more expensive the commission. At first glance, the customer in front of her is not the one with poor money, because she knows that the other party is driving a luxury car. Sir, our steaks here are good, all imported from Kobe, Sakura country. We also have fresh ingredients such as French foie gras, oran, and blue flag tuna, all of which are made by Michelin chefs. You can give them a try. Lin Tian nodded and directly activated the ordering mode. Kobe steak, cheese Australian dragon, fried goose liver, blue flag salmon sashimi, golden egg fried rice, and a bottle of Lafite red wine, oh, by the way, let's have a Buddha jumps over the wall to warm our stomach. The beautiful waitress was pleasantly surprised to see Lin Tian order so many high dot end dishes, and secretly sighed to herself that she was lucky to have met a wealthy young man today. Okay, sir, I'll place your order right away. The beautiful waiter took out the handheld terminal to complete the order, and then brewed a pot of Westlake Longjing for Lin Tian. After two cups of tea, the dishes ordered have been gradually served. Lin Tian did not devour like he did yesterday when he was just reborn in Shuxianglu. Instead, he slowly enjoyed each dish, including a full and chewy steak, a mellow dragon, instant melted foie gras, and a tender and juicy yellow fin tuna sashimi. As for the beautiful waitress, she has been busy serving Lin Tian, truly deserving of being a five-dot-star hotel with very thoughtful service. Having had enough to drink and eat, Lin Tian asked the waiter to bring the bill. Including the service fee, the total was over 200,000 yuan. Although it was a bit expensive, it was really worth it. But he immediately thought of such delicious food that once the apocalypse erupted, he would never be able to enjoy it again. A flash of inspiration flashed in Lin Tian's mind. His personal space-time was prohibited, so why not stock up on ready-made food in the space and take it out whenever he wanted, saving him the trouble of cooking. With this in mind, Lin Tian called the beautiful waitress and said, Go and call your manager over. I have some business matters to discuss with your leaders. Okay, please wait a moment. After speaking, the beautiful waiter twisted her waist and headed towards the manager's office. Chapter 4 Stock up a thousand tables of banquets first. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Five minutes later, a man in his fifties followed the beautiful waiter to Lin Tian. Hello, sir, may I ask your surname? My surname is Lin. The two shook hands, and the other continued to introduce Hello, Mr. Lin, I am Lu Jin Gui, the general manager of the Crown Intercontinental Hotel. I don't know what Mr. is looking for me for. Lin Tian smiled faintly and said, Manager Lu, I am very satisfied with the dishes in your hotel, so I would like to book some banquets with you. I don't know what specifications you have here. Oh, it's like this, we have 6,666 tables, 8,888 tables, 10,000 tables, 20,000 tables for the banquet here. I don't know which one you need. Lin Tian didn't know the specific dishes in various sets of meals and banquets, so he asked manager Lu to introduce them. 
In the end, he decided to order 6666 for one table, and as for high dot end ingredients, he just ordered a little extra. It's like this, Manager Lu. Starting from tomorrow, you will send me 20 tables of banquets every day, including 6,666 sets of meals, for 50 consecutive days. A thousand tables of banquets, even if Lin Tian eats them every day, it's enough to last for 10 years. Upon hearing this, Lu Jin Gui was instantly energized. The young man in front of him was a big customer. The 6666 package had 20 tables per day and was delivered continuously for 50 days. This was a business worth over 6 million yuan. Lu Jin Gui not only benefits from it, but also adds a strong touch to his political achievements. Perhaps there is a possibility of promotion and salary increase by the end of the year. Okay, good, Mr. Lin, we have taken on this business. Manager Lu immediately agreed. Of course, Lin Tian also has requirements here. Firstly, the dishes must be guaranteed, and if any substandard dishes are found to be of good quality, a penalty of three times the compensation for breach of contract will be imposed. Moreover, Lin Tian only paid a 30% deposit, and the remaining amount will be settled next month. Hee <laughs> hee, as for the remaining accounts for the second month, Lin Tian will definitely not pay, after all, the end of the world will come at that time. If Manager Lu can find him alive, let's talk. Lin Tianhe immediately signed a contract with the hotel, and the first batch of 30-day banquets will be delivered tomorrow. Lin Tian directly paid 30% of the money, totaling 1.2 million yuan. At night, at the entrance of the Crown Intercontinental Hotel. Lu Jin Gui personally escorted Lin Tian to the hotel entrance, and soon his Porsche Panamera had already stopped in front of him. Lu Jin Gui gave a glance to the beautiful waitress beside him and then said to Lin Tian, Mr. Lin drank a bottle of red wine this afternoon. It's better not to drive. I'll have our waitress take you back. Ji Shui, you must safely deliver Mr. Lin to his home, do you understand? Manager Lu solemnly explained. Lin Tianxin was also right. There shouldn't be any mistakes during this period of time. If it delayed his hoarding of supplies, it would not be worth the loss. Okay, Manager Lu has something in mind. Thank you, Miss Ji Shui, for taking me on a trip. In the car, Lin Tian leaned back on the seat, not sure if it was due to the other person's poor driving skills or something, the car was driving very slowly. Ji Shui occasionally glanced at Lin Tian's side, and after a few minutes, Ji Shui finally broke the tranquility. Mr. Lin, it's only May now. It's so hot that people are sweating a bit. As she spoke, she fanned herself, but it wasn't over yet. She reached out and unbuttoned one of the buttons on her white shirt on her chest. Without any constraints, Ji Shui's capital was completely released, trembling as the car moved forward. Lin Tian smiled slightly at this and couldn't help but know the woman's thoughts. He just knew he had money and wanted to seduce him. He he, Miss Ji, your future children will definitely not run out of food. Lin Tian joked directly. Oh, Mr. Lin, you really hate it. They haven't gotten married yet, where did they come from? Ji Shui covered her chest and said coquettishly. Lin Tian smiled but remained silent. It seemed that if there were no accidents tonight, there would be meat to eat. Once the conversation box was opened, the two of them began to get acquainted, and half an hour later the car entered the Longziwan community. Ji Shui's eyes were also shining when she saw the house in this high dot end community. She dreamed of owning a house, but she thought of her mom's boyfriend. Hey, let's forget it. It's better to beg for oneself than to beg for others. The car quickly drove into Lin Tian's villa. After getting off the car, Ji Shui teased her hair and saw that Lin Tian had no intention of calling her in to drink water. She knew she had to take the initiative at this time. Tian Gu, he was sweating all over while driving just now, and his shirt was soaked through. Can I borrow your bathroom to take a shower? 
After speaking, Ji Xue lightly bit her lips and blinked at Lin Tian, looking charming and charming. TSK TSK TSK. This was a voluntary visit, and when Lin Tian remembered his second brother's tragic experience in the apocalypse, he instantly felt ashamed. Brother, brother, I didn't take care of you before. Lin Tian swears to take you to see the prosperity of the world in this lifetime. All right, since all the beautiful women have spoken up, if I don't agree, wouldn't it make me appear impolite? After speaking, Lin Tian took Ji Xue into his villa. In the bedroom on the third floor, Lin Tian lit a cigarette and listened to the patter of water in the bathroom, feeling lost in thought. Half an hour later, the bathroom door opened, and Ji Xue walked out wrapped in a towel. Seeing Lin Tian sitting by the window smoking, she walked towards him leisurely. Omitting ten thousand words here the next day. The morning sunshine shone on the spacious and soft bed, and he glanced at Ji Xue who was still asleep. The corner of his mouth slightly curled up and he went straight to the bathroom to wash up. After Lin Tian finished washing up and came out, Ji Xue had already put on his clothes and was putting on makeup with a small mirror. He walked over and picked up the other person's phone, directly transferring 100,000 yuan to them. Thank you, Brother Tian. Ji Xue saw the transfer on her phone and gave the other party a kiss. Lin Tian chuckled and patted the other person's buttocks, saying, All right, it's getting late. You can pack up and leave now. Ji Xue picked up her bag and raised her phone in her hand, saying, Brother Tian, if you miss me, give me a call. I'm on call. After speaking, I still remember to give Lin Tian a kiss. Hee hee, Lin Tian is quite open dot minded about this kind of thing. Do romance, everyone takes what they need. Lin Tian made himself some milk and bread for breakfast, and then searched online for information on warehouse leasing. After some screening, he selected a large warehouse located in the eastern suburbs, with convenient transportation access to large vehicles. The location was not too remote, so Lin Tian found the phone and dialed the other party. At noon, Lin Tian drove to the eastern suburbs to conduct an actual inspection of the warehouse, which is large in area and has strong privacy, making it a suitable material transfer station. Lin Tian signed a two-month lease agreement with the other party and directly transferred 200,000 yuan to them. After finishing the warehouse, Lin Tian directly sent the address of the warehouse to Lu Jingui, the manager of the Crown Intercontinental Hotel, and agreed to deliver the prepared banquet to this address every afternoon at 6 p.m. Lin Tian looked at his bank card balance and found that there were still 17.8 million left. This amount of money is definitely not enough to stock up and build a safe house. It seems that I need to find a way to make money myself. Chapter 5 Transfer of Equity, 50 Million Acquired You are listening at Novel Full Audio. The next day, Lin Tian drove to the Universal Trading Company by the Pujiang River. This company was founded by his parents and several partners, with a market value of over 1 billion yuan. After his parents passed away, Lin Tian inherited 5% of the company's shares. After dealing with his parents' affairs, Lin Tian had no intention of taking up a position in this company. Instead, he became a small shareholder and received several million dividends every year. Entering the building of the trading company, Lin Tian traveled all the way to the 22nd floor. Hello sir, may I help you? The front desk lady immediately stood up to welcome a visitor. Hello, I would like to meet Chairman Shui. Lin Tian explained the reason. Do you have an appointment? Lin Tian shook his head and said with a smile, You can call and report that I am Lin Tian. Your chairman will meet with me. The receptionist picked up the phone and dialed a number. In no time, she looked at Lin Tian Dao and said, Mr. Lin, our chairman is waiting for you in the office. I will take you over now. Five minutes later, Chairman Shui Baoshan's office. Xiao Lin, you haven't been to the company for almost a year now. Have you figured out which department you want to work in? Tell Uncle Shui and I'll arrange it. 
Shui Baoshan smiled at Lin Tian and then placed the brewed tea in front of him. Uncle Shui, I'm not very interested in going to work. I'm here for something else. Lin Tian chuckled inwardly, it's impossible to work in this lifetime. The end of the world will arrive in less than two months, and I have a brain problem before going to work. Oh. Have you encountered any difficulties? Tell me, Uncle Shui can never refuse to help. Lin Tian didn't have time to play Tai Chi with Shui Baoshan here, so he directly explained his intention. Uncle Shui is like this. I am planning to start a business recently, but I still lack funds, so I want to transfer 5% of my shares. I wonder if Uncle Shui is interested. Shui Baoshan was delighted to hear that Lin Tian was about to transfer his shares. Although he was the chairman of Huan Yu Trading Company, his shares did not occupy an absolute advantageous position. If he could win 5% of Lin Tian's shares, he would have more say in the company in the future. Shui Baoshan was very excited in his heart, but there was no abnormality on his face. Instead, he comforted Lin Tian. Xiaolin, the entrepreneurial environment has been bad and the risks have been high in the past two years. You should not consider it again, after all, the trading company's business has been good in recent years, and it is still safer to be a shareholder and distribute dividends. Lin Tian is completely uninterested in this, and his only idea now is to make money. Uncle Shui, I have made up my mind. Let's talk about the transfer of equity. If you don't want me to, I will contact other shareholders again. No, 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 Uncle Shui didn't say no. Shui Baoshan felt a bit anxious at Lin Tian's words. If these 5% shares were to fall into the hands of other shareholders, he would not have full confidence in the year.end chairman election. Okay, since that's the case, let's get to the point and talk about the transfer of equity. Xiaolin, have you brought your equity certificate? Lin Tian nodded and took out the equity certificate from the briefcase he carried with him. The following negotiations went smoothly. Shui Baoshan wanted it, and Lin Tian also wanted to sell it. In the end, Lin Tian transferred 5% of the shares to Shui Baoshan for a price of 50 million yuan. When Lin Tian came down from the Huanyu Trading Company building, his bank card had an extra 50 million yuan and a balance of 67.8 million yuan. If this money were placed before the end of the world, it would definitely be enough to live a comfortable life for himself, but it is still completely insufficient for Lin Tian, who needs to hoard massive supplies and build a safe house. No way. We still need to continue making money. Lin Tian thought for a moment that the shares in his parents' company had already been sold, and now he only has three properties left by his parents. The villa he definitely wants to keep, and the other two high-end houses can be sold. Thinking of this, Lin Tian prepared to get on the car and go to a nearby real estate agency. However, just as he was about to get on the car, suddenly a certification advertisement on a nearby utility pole caught his attention. A flash of inspiration flashed in Lin Tian's mind. Why didn't he pull some wool from the hands of those high-interest loan lenders? With this in mind, Lin Tian drove home directly to retrieve three sets of property certificates, and then dialed the number on the advertisement for obtaining the certificates. Hello, are you worried about obtaining a certificate? Yes, what's the need? Can you handle all kinds of certificates? Yes, as long as the money is in place, any certificate can be obtained. Lin Tian was shocked for a moment. Nima, are those who apply for fake certificates so arrogant now? With added contact information, Lin Tian headed directly towards the agreed-upon location. Forty minutes later, Lin Tian arrived at an old residential area in the city and searched around for a while before finally finding a place. Dong 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 with a creaking sound, the door opened and a young man in his twenties, who was unkempt in appearance. This is a bit different from what I imagined. Are you Lao Mo? Lin Tian asked in confusion. Well, come on in. As soon as Lin Tian entered the door, he smelled a strong smell of smoke. 
There was a stainless steel basin on the coffee table, all of which were cigarette butts. Lying trough. This is an old smoker, isn't he afraid of smoking himself to death? Duh. The young man named Lao Mo lit another cigarette in front of Lin Tian, and then slowly said, Boss, I don't know what certificate you need. Property certificate. Lin Tian answered truthfully. Sure. The regular version costs 1,000 yuan per book, and the certificate will be issued in three days. The advanced version costs 5,000 yuan per book and will be certified in five days. I'll go and apply for a certificate with different levels. Lin Tian really doesn't know, he hasn't applied for it before. What's the difference? Lao Mo took a deep puff of his cigarette and said, the regular version is not visible to ordinary people, and the advanced version is generally not visible to professionals, but it cannot withstand testing by real estate management agencies. Be concise and concise. Lin Tian directly chooses the advanced version. I want to get an advanced version, get three books. Lao Mo nodded and continued, could you please provide a sample of the property certificate? There is also a fee of 15,000 yuan. Please pay first before processing the certificate. Lin Tian took out his three property certificates from his briefcase and handed them to Lao Mo, who took them and looked up at Lin Tian. Your property certificate is real. Lin Tian nodded noncommittally, it seemed that the young man in front of him still had some strength. He could tell the truth from the fake with just a few glances. After flipping through three property certificates, Lao Mo returned them to Lin Tian and said, Okay, 15,000 yuan, paid in cash. I'll contact you in five days to collect the evidence. Is that enough? Lin Tian looked bewildered. The other party seemed to see their doubts and chuckled, revealing a big yellow tooth, saying, Don't worry, you only need to pass something through my hand once. Besides, you won't agree to pressure me with your real property certificate. What is a major? This is called professionalism. Worry-free certificate application, it's really amazing. Lin Tianchuang quickly counted 15,000 yuan from his briefcase and gave it to Lao Mo, but when Lin Tian was about to leave, the other person kindly reminded him. Boss, I advise you not to use the obtained certificate for high-interest loans. They will go to the property management office to verify the authenticity before lending. Lin Tian smiled slightly and then nodded before leaving. This old Mo is really a bit interesting. As for what Lao Mo said, Lin Tian naturally has a way to deal with it. After all, those who lend high-interest loans are ruthless characters who lick their blood with a knife edge, and Lin Tian will not find his life long. Chapter 6 Blackstone Security Company. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Lin Tian came out of the village in the city, and his stomach started protesting again. It was already two o'clock in the afternoon, and he really forgot to eat and sleep just to make money. After driving for ten minutes, Lin Tian found a yellow braised chicken and rice restaurant. He ordered two portions and started eating them. I don't know if he's hungry or something but Lin Tian thinks this yellow braised chicken rice restaurant has a good taste, so he directly asked the boss to pack him a hundred servings. Seeing the boss's playful expression on his face, Lin Tian chuckled. In the past few days, no matter what he eats, whenever he thinks it's delicious, he will pack a hundred servings. Of course, the expressions of restaurant owners are also uniform. Lin Tian took out his old lines again. Uh, boss, I think your food tastes great, so I want to order some for all the employees of my own company to taste. Upon hearing these words, the boss suddenly realized. Excited, he immediately set up more than ten clay pots and began preparing yellow braised chicken for Lin Tian. Lin Tian finished his meal and waited until 4 o'clock p.m. to prepare 100 portions of yellow braised chicken rice. The shop owner helped to move it to the car. After paying the money, Lin Tian drove away and walked to a deserted place, directly receiving 100 portions of yellow braised chicken rice in his own space. Looking at the time, it was getting late. 
Lin Tian headed straight towards the warehouse in the eastern suburbs and received twenty tables of banquet for today. When Lin Tian returned to the villa, it was already seven o'clock in the evening. As soon as the car arrived at the villa gate, it was stopped by a familiar figure. It's Zhang Qian from the White Lotus. Lin Tian, what have you been doing these past few days? They've been looking for you several times. Zhang Qian has blocked the door several times in the past few days, but as Lin Tian goes out early and returns late every day, she can't see her. Lin Tian's face instantly collapsed and he impatiently said, We've already broken up. Why are you still looking for me? Breaking up. Zhang Qian is not willing to break up with Lin Tian now. His brother's house has not been settled yet, and she hasn't salvaged enough. How can she be willing? Lin Tian, that's what you said. I didn't agree to break up, and my younger brother will get married next month, but the house you promised has not been given yet. That's why I came today, don't you have two more houses in this community? You'll give my younger brother one and my parents one, and we'll live in our own villa. It's great to be together in the community, and we'll take care of each other Lin Tian is about to burst into laughter. It's none of my business to get your brother married, not me. Give your younger brother a house, your parents a house, Zhang Qian, why don't you go to heaven? All right, get out of my way, I need to go home. Lin Tian is too lazy to bother with this white lotus now. No, you promise me first. Zhang Qian opened her hand with a posture of not letting you pass if you don't agree. Lin Tian was almost amused. He had never seen such a shameless person before, and now he wanted to see how determined Zhang Qian was. So he joked, Zhang Qian, I can give your brother a house as a gift, but you know that a house in this community is worth seven or eight million yuan, but now that we are not relatives, I cannot give it to you for nothing, so, if you're willing to accompany me tonight, I'll give your brother the room tomorrow. How about you consider it? Upon hearing this, Zhang Qian was indeed as she had guessed in her heart. She had spent so much money with Lin Tian in a year of dating, but she did not let the other party taste any sweetness. Which man can bear it? But Zhang Qian is a woman with a particularly cunning mind. She knows very well that her most precious thing is that layer of film. Once she hands it over, she won't be worth it. How can she marry into a wealthy family in the future? Is it worth sacrificing oneself for my younger brother? At this moment, Zhang Qian hesitated. Lin Tianlong snorted and took a look, revealing his true form as soon as he arrived. He got off the car and pushed Zhang Qian aside, opened the door and drove straight into the villa. It wasn't until Lin Tian closed the door that Zhang Qian realized it. Hey, Lin Tian, can we discuss this matter again? There must be other ways. Lin Tian chuckled and looked at Zhang Qian, saying, You go back and think carefully. I need to rest now. At night, after taking a shower, Lin Tian immediately flashed into his own life space. As soon as he entered the space, he realized that there seemed to be something different from when he first entered. But Lin Tian didn't notice any clues after spinning around in space, was it his own illusion? Although the living space is not large, it is completely enough for Lin Tian to live alone. This can be used as his secret base. Lin Tian believes that the role of a living space is even greater than that of a personal space, because it can hold living creatures, grow food, and engage in animal husbandry. If we turn this place into a self-sufficient and sustainable development base, then it will have another trump card to survive in the apocalypse. However, before that, we still need to solve the problem of a safe house. The next day, at the entrance of Blackstone Security Company. As the world's most famous security company, Blackstone Security not only provides security services for wealthy individuals, celebrities, and politicians from various countries on Blue Star, but more importantly, Blackstone has also created a unique safe house for global billionaires, which has been well received. Lin Tian is here today to test the waters and see how much it will cost to build his villa into a safe house. Lin Tian entered Blackstone Company to explain his purpose to the receptionist, 
and was then led to a small conference room. Mr. Lin, please sit down for a while, and I'll invite our manager. The receptionist said goodbye after serving a steaming cup of coffee. Five minutes later, a 1.9-meter tall man in a black suit walked into the conference room. Hello, Mr. Lin. People arrive before the sound arrives. I am Zhao Yingwu, President of Blackstone's Asia-Pacific region. Hello Mr. Zhao. The two respectfully shook hands and sat down on the sofa. Mr. Lin, just received Xiao Lu and told me that you want to build a safe house. Can you tell me the specific situation? Lin Tian nodded and told Zhao Yingwu his idea of turning his villa into a safe house. Mr. Zhao, my safe house must be able to withstand extreme cold temperatures of minus 70.80 degrees Celsius or high temperatures of 60.70 degrees Celsius. It must have independent power, ventilation, monitoring and other systems, and must be able to withstand attacks from shells or explosives. Lin Tian blurted out his demands, while Zhao Yingwu patiently listened with a smile on his face. Judging from this requirement and posture, if this order can be successful, the transaction price will be at least hundreds of millions. Okay, Mr. Lin, I have a general understanding of your demands. Could you please provide me with the architectural drawings of your villa, I can provide you with different optimal design solutions based on the size of the area, and I can also better calculate the price required for building a safe house for you Lin Tian was prepared for this and took out the villa building drawings from his briefcase and handed them to Zhao Yingwu. After reading it, Zhao Yingjie brought over a tablet and introduced it, saying, Mr. Lin, here is a case of our company's villa safety house renovation for your reference, of course, you can also make personalized requests, and we will try our best to meet your needs. Lin Tian took the tablet and carefully flipped through them one by one. The cheapest renovation costs start at 50 million yuan, but of course, these are only basic models, and Lin Tian doesn't like them either. After searching for half a day, there was no product he wanted. After five minutes, the last design proposal with the code name SSLA5000 caught Lin Tian's attention. Chapter 7 Villa Safety House Renovation Plan You are listening at NovelFull.audio Lin Tian pointed to the design diagram on the tablet and said, Mr. Zhao, this one looks pretty good. Zhao Yingwu smiled on his face and gave Lin Tian a thumbs up. Mr. Lin has a good eye, and this safe house product can be said to be our company's pride. Here, please allow me to give Mr. Lin a detailed introduction. Zhao Yingwu picked up the tablet and opened the design drawings of the safe house, introducing them. Firstly, the exterior walls, foundation, and roof of this villa's safety house are all made of high dot strength steel reinforced cement with a thickness of 800 mm. The inner layer is made of 200 mm of the most advanced titanium alloy steel, and finally, it is made of insulation and sound insulation materials, which can completely withstand high temperatures of minus 70.80 degrees Celsius or 60.70 degrees Celsius, Mr. Lin, let me emphasize this titanium alloy steel. This metal has high strength, good corrosion resistance, and high heat and cold resistance. Not to mention ordinary bombs, even missiles cannot be launched Lin Tian was very satisfied. After saying three good things in a row, he was afraid that his villa might not be sturdy enough. Now he finally had some confidence. Mr. Zhao, keep talking. Zhao Yingwu saw Lin Tian's interest and thought to himself that this single had a play, so he put in even more effort to introduce it. Let's talk about the windows of the villa, which are made of the most advanced bulletproof glass with a thickness of up to 500 mm. In case of danger, the Ukrainian titanium alloy steel plate can be lowered to ensure safety. The villa is equipped with independent power, air, ventilation, temperature, humidity regulation, and filtration systems to ensure indoor air quality and safety. Both inside and outside the villa, there are also 360-degree dead-angle monitoring cameras installed, all of which are integrated into the intelligent butler for homeowner control. The villa's entrance is made of anti-theft doors made of titanium alloy steel plates, but with a thicker thickness. 
The door integrates five combinations. Fingerprints, pupils, sound, passwords, and machinery. Only when all are matched can the villa's entrance be opened. Zhao Yingwu gradually introduced Lin Tian to the other functions and parameters of the renovation, and Lin Tian became more and more satisfied as he listened. Mr. Zhao, I am very satisfied with this safe house, but I have a few personal ideas here. Zhao Yingwu nodded, every homeowner who builds a safe house has their own personal thoughts and ideas. Mr. Lin, if you have any ideas, feel free to speak up. After thinking for a moment, Lin Tian spoke up. The first point is that the titanium alloy steel plate of the villa has increased from the original 200mm to 400mm, and the thickness of the reinforced cement pouring for the villa foundation has been increased to 3M for me. Secondly, there is only one floor underground in my villa. I would like to ask you to dig another floor for me, with a total of five floors and safety doors reserved for each floor. The third point is that the corridor from the entrance of my villa to the middle of the living room has a large area. I need to add a safety door at the entrance to the living room, and the corridor space is separated by a disinfection room, a shower room, a miscellaneous room, and a small room. The fourth point is to reserve shooting holes on all sides of the villa to ensure clear visibility and no blind spots in 360 degrees. Zhao Ying Wu was shocked after listening to Lin Tian's words. If the originally designed safe house missiles could not be destroyed, then now the safe house may be safe and sound as long as it is not in the nuclear explosion center. In addition, with the 360 degree shooting hole without dead angles, if paired with a machine gun, the consequences of that scene would be unimaginable. How about Mr. Zhao? Are you facing any difficulties? Lin Tian reminded Zhao Yingwu, who was wandering around the world. No, 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 Mr. Lin. Zhao Yingwu smiled awkwardly. Lin Tian didn't care either. He lit a cigarette on his own and said with a smile, Okay, since that's the case, let's ask Mr. Zhao to calculate a price. As soon as Zhao Yingwu saw the money calculation process, he suddenly became energized. He was slowly counting on his tablet, and after about half an hour, he finally finished the calculation. Mr. Lin, the total renovation cost for your safe house is 420 million yuan. Lin Tian's face was not red and his heart was not beating. He had already become MMP in his heart. He guessed that the renovation of the safe house would definitely be expensive, but he didn't expect it to be so outrageous. However, on the other hand, the more expensive the price, the better the materials used for renovation, the better the quality, and the safer it is. Although Lin Tian's current balance on his card is only over 67 million yuan, he still agreed without hesitation. Okay, Mr. Zhao, I'll take this safe house. Lin Tian calculated that there are still 56 days left until the end of the world, and it will take about a week to make money on his own, so the construction period must be completed within 45 days. However, Mr. Zhao, I hope you can complete the renovation of the safe house within 45 days. Lin Tian added. Now Zhao Yingwu showed a hint of embarrassment and immediately explained, Mr. Lin, it's impossible. A villa renovation of this level will take at least three months. Oh, really can't it? Really not. Zhao Yingwu shook his head again. Are you sure? Lin Tian asked again. Now Zhao Yingwu is not so certain, but instead comes with a sentence. It's not completely impossible either. But you'll have to pay extra. Ha ha. Lin Tian was directly amused. This is another paid layman. Okay, as long as you can complete the renovation within 45 days, I can pay you 450 million yuan, which can be written in the contract. However, Lin Tian's words changed and he continued, if you don't complete the project on time, you need to pay me double the compensation, which is 900 million yuan. Okay. No problem. Zhao Yingwu agreed directly. The next step is to sign the contract. Lin Tianlai had already inquired about it before. 
the payment of the renovation fee for the safe house is divided into several stages. First, 30% of the funds will be paid. After one month of project completion without any quality issues, another 30% will be paid, and the final 40% will be paid in full within three months. Lin Tian has encountered a time bug here. The end of the world will come in a few days after the renovation of the safe house, and the remaining 70%, 315 million yuan in project funds, will not need to be paid. Of course, Lin Tianlian's current start.up funds of 135 million are not enough, so he had to negotiate with Zhao Yingwu to pay a deposit of 2 million first, and the remaining one week later. After leaving Blackstone Security Company, Lin Tian drove directly to a wooden villa assembly company where he wanted to customize a house for his living space. This type of assembled wooden villa comes with a thick steel plate foundation. As long as you find a flat place to assemble, you can quickly build a house, which is similar to assembling a color steel house on a construction site. However, Lin Tian booked an assembled villa with more luxurious rooms and comprehensive facilities. The house has ready made water and electrical interfaces, which can be used immediately as long as connected, making it quite convenient. Lin Tian chose a solid wood assembly villa with two floors, which is more environmentally friendly and formaldehyde free. Moreover, the decoration, furniture, appliances, and home appliances in the villa category are all selected from big brands, and this combination actually costs 400,000 yuan. It's really expensive. It's like a house in a small county town. After signing the contract, the manufacturer promised to deliver the house in 10 days. Lin Tian paid half of the deposit and drove to the warehouse in the eastern suburbs to collect today's 20 tables of banquet. These days are really tiring, but for a happy life after the end of the world, everything is worth it. It was already 7 o'clock when Lin Tian returned to Longza Garden after finishing his busy work. As usual, he went to Xuxiang Tower and ordered a few delicious dishes for a satisfying meal. Then, he still casually packed ten dishes before returning to his villa. Chapter 8 A lottery prize of 220 million yuan, no matter what. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Lin Tian sits in front of the French window of the villa, smoking one cigarette at a time, because he is figuring out how to make money. Recalling the great events that occurred during this period in his previous life, he remembered that the Happiness 8 Lottery of Tomorrow Night opened a 220 million yuan prize and directly emptied the prize pool. A mysterious player from Gan province placed 50,000 bets directly on the same number at two lottery betting stations less than three kilometers apart. And Lin Tian remembers the betting number very clearly, because there were two triple consecutive numbers in the winning numbers, which were 40, 41, 42, 47, 63, 64, and 65, respectively. The key is that this, choose 7 out of 7, gameplay triggers the risk control of the maximum total reward amount, and the bonus is reduced from a single bet of 10,000 yuan to a single bet of 4,475 yuan. Due to the risk control of the single bet lottery bonus being reduced to below 10,000 yuan, the recipient will not need to pay taxes when receiving a total bonus of over 220 million yuan. As soon as this incident occurred, public opinion was in an uproar. No one believed that a normal lottery player would spend 100,000 yuan on a single bet, and it was still a 7 out of 7 campaign. The key is to win 220 million yuan and empty the prize pool without paying taxes. It's ridiculous. His mother, it's ridiculous. Hee <laughs> hee, since you are in such a hurry to empty the prize pool, it must be an urgent matter. Since I, Lin Tian, learned about this in advance, I will definitely take a ride, so why not split the 220 million yuan prize money in half with me? Silent all night. The next morning, Lin Tian took out a wonton and a xylong bao from the space and had breakfast. Then he took out his mobile phone and started to download online loan software. Like what kind of loan, Chindu loan, spider loan, 720 IOU, Whaley loan, and random loan Lin Tian downloaded dozens of online loan apps in one go, 
followed by a registration review and authentication process, and it wasn't until noon that he finally completed it. Then came the frenzy of online lending. Due to Lin Tian's excellent credit, the process of online lending went very smoothly, with less than 5,000 yuan borrowed and more than 100,000 yuan borrowed. TSK 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 It's better to collect wool faster. By the afternoon, his bank account had already accumulated over 2 million yuan. Great. At 20.45 in the evening, Lin Tian came to a relatively remote lottery betting station with a mask on. The owner was a woman in her thirties. As soon as she walked in, she smiled and said, Young man, what can I buy? Look at Happiness 8. Lin Tian took a blank piece of paper and a pencil from the counter and sat on a chair, staring at the previous lottery numbers on the wall. Ordinary lottery players have this habit, but Lin Tian sneers at it. Whether or not this can win is not a matter of calculation, it depends on fate. Lin Tian's move was just a waste of time. He pretended to write and draw on paper, and occasionally checked the previous winning information on the wall. 20, 50. Lin Tian saw that there was no one in the store and handed the number he had already written to the boss. 40, 41, 42, 47, 63, 64, 65. The boss was dumbfounded at first glance, with two consecutive numbers. The young man in front of him looked quite normal. Why choose such a brainless number? Of course, this is the boss's thought in his heart, and he still said with a smile on his face, young man, by a few bets. 50,000 notes. Lin Tian said lightly. What are you saying? The female owner of the lottery shop couldn't believe her ears. A deposit of 100,000 yuan, with two consecutive numbers. The boss really suspects that Lin Tian's mind is abnormal. At this moment, the lottery store sounded a prompt for payment. Zifubo has received 100,000 yuan. Do you really want to buy 50,000 bets? The boss reminded me again when he heard the payment reminder. Hee <laughs> hee, boss, I paid you all the money and there's still a fake. Lin Tian shook his phone, which still had the transfer record from earlier. Now the owner of the lottery shop no longer doubts and is directly typing numbers on the lottery machine. At 20.59.50, with the creaking sound, Lin Tian's last lottery ticket was finally drawn. He took a look and confirmed that there was no problem, then left the lottery store directly. When Lin Tian returned to his villa in Longza Garden, it was already 9.30 p.m. He immediately turned on the TV and switched to the Imperial Sports Channel. At this time, the Lottery 4, Happiness 8, had already ended. The host is announcing the lottery results there. Lin Tian looked at the winning numbers and found that all the numbers he had chosen were inside. Now he breathed a little sigh of relief. He was really afraid that various crab forces would change the winning numbers for this issue. But now it seems that everything is normal. But now the internet has already exploded, because with the disclosure of information, lottery players know that both Jiangxi Province and Shanghai Stock Exchange have won the big prize, and both are single-person bets of 50,000. There is something fishy about this matter. The clever lottery players immediately realized something was wrong. No one could bet 50,000 times more on a single bet, but it would cost 100,000 yuan. Moreover, it's still choosing 7 out of 7 and even avoiding taxes. The lottery website was directly attacked by angry lottery players, who accused it of having dark schemes and covert operations. The official immediately debunked the rumors, stating that all procedures are in compliance with the law and are fully supervised, and there is no human operation. Especially when Lin Tian, the shop owner who had just bought lottery tickets, was already crying and unconscious in the restroom. She thought Lin Tian was a young man with a broken mind, but she didn't expect the clown to be herself. It's really a blind eye. If she had followed Lin Tian to buy dozens of hundreds of bets, it would have been hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now the boss has a regretful heart. 
Compared to the angry lottery players and the regretful lottery shop owner, Lin Tian had already calmed down his excitement and fell asleep beautifully. Division line the next morning, Lin Tian disguised himself and went to the Shanghai Lottery Redemption Center. There were no instances of black eating black. After verifying the identity and verifying the authenticity of the lottery, the redemption process began. Under the organization of the staff, Lin Tian wore a panda headband and held up the brand with a prize of 110 million yuan to take photos, and the prize redemption ended. Watching an extra 110 million yuan in his bank account, Lin Tian left the lottery redemption center satisfied with the secret channel. He he, as for donating money, the prize redemption center also reminded me, but I was mercilessly rejected by Lin Tian. At this point, the balance in Lin Tian's bank account has reached 177 million, which will be Lin Tian's confidence in welcoming the end of the world. But that's not enough. Next, Lin Tian has another important task to do. That is to enter the stock market and make a profit. Of course, what Lin Tian is talking about is not the domestic stock market, after all, the risk of the domestic stock market is too high, and anyone who understands it understands it. Lin Tian is going to enter the US stock market, and he remembers clearly that there is a company called Snow Pharmaceutical Technology that will release a heavyweight news tomorrow. That is, they have developed a new type of anti-dot-cancer drug, which is three times more effective than all anti-dot-cancer drugs on the market. As soon as this news was released, the stock of Snow Pharmaceutical Technology Company rose fivefold in five days, directly from $18.20 to the peak of $91.30. This is definitely a once.in.a.lifetime opportunity for Lin Tian. Chapter 9 Making 680 million yuan in 5 days. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Lin Tian went straight to a coffee shop, ordered a cup of coffee, and then found an empty corner to take his notebook out of his briefcase. He had previously worked with his father to speculate in stocks, so his accounts were already dot made. With one operation, Lin Tian directly transferred 170 million yuan to his US stock account. Finally, Lin Tian Kai remembered that it was daytime and lighthouse country was nighttime. The stock market was closed and unable to buy. Snow Pharmaceutical Technology's stock price yesterday was $18.13, which is not much different from its previous life. Just as Lin Tian was enjoying his rare leisure time sipping coffee, two unwelcome guests walked over, and it was by Lianhua Zhang Qian and her best friend Li Ying. Lin Tian, why are you here? Lin Tian saw Li Ying beside Zhang Qian. In the apocalypse, when the Lin Tian family was broken into, she was also among the crowd and one of the accomplices. Lin Tian wished he could kill both of them now, but he still held back. The law is still sound before the end of the world, and he doesn't want to welcome it in prison. He squinted his eyes and looked at the two of them, then asked in reverse, Oh! Why can't I be here? Is it only allowed for you so dot called little fairies to drink coffee, go shopping, and enjoy the life of petty bourgeoisie? Lin Tian retorted as soon as he spoke. Zhang Qian was momentarily stunned and her eyes began to moisten. With a look of grievance, she said, Lin Tian, how could you say that to me? Tell me what's wrong with you, can I still change it? Looking at Zhang Qian's pitiful expression, it's a pity not to become an actor. Lin Tian felt disgusted. Lin Tian had not spoken yet, while Zhang Qian's best friend Li Ying couldn't help but say, I said Lin Tian, I know everything about you and Qian Qian. What's wrong with Qian Qian? Why did you break up with her? If you apologize to Qian Qian now and buy a bag to apologize, I can help you persuade her Lin Tian chuckled. Li Ying and Zhang Qian are like birds of a feather, one is a white lotus flower, and the other is a green tea bitch. They really lived up to the old saying, it's not that every family doesn't enter every door. During this year, Li Ying has spent a lot of time eating and drinking with Zhang Qian. Of course, Lin Tian paid for it. Sometimes when Zhang Qian gets emotional, Li Ying acts as an intermediary to regulate it. 
Lin Tian, who claims to be regulating rather than just thinking about the law, thanks Li Ying for her help and has not given her any less benefits. Lin Tian now thinks that he was really foolish at that time. Zhang Qian and Li Ying sang, White Face, and Red Face, probably because they had planned to get more benefits from Lin Tian. Lin Tian also bluntly retorted, Li Ying, this is between me and Zhang Qian. I'm afraid it won't be up to you, an outsider, to point things out. Outsider. Lin Tian, let me tell you that I am Qian Qian's best friend. If it weren't for me, you would have broken up with Qian Qian more than ten times. He he, wouldn't I have to thank you again? Lin Tian couldn't help but sneer. Thank you, I don't need it. Chan Chan fell in love with a bag a few days ago. Just buy it and apologize to her, oh, and I heard that Chan Chan's younger brother will get married next month. If you give us a house, the whole family should help each other, Ying Ying, thank you, you still care about me. Zhang Qian wiped away her tears, grabbed Li Ying's arm, and then looked at Lin Tian. The sound of the waves remains the same, with the same coordination method. Lin Tianling snorted and looked at Zhang Qian with a smile, he he, you want a house, right? I still have the same condition as before. If you agree, just send me a message, otherwise don't bother me. I'm very busy. Lin Tiani pushed Zhang Qian and Li Ying aside and left the coffee shop directly. He didn't have time to chat with these white lotus flowers and green tea prostitutes here. Café Li Ying is still comforting Zhang Qian. Qian Qian, okay, it's not worth grieving for that kind of man. Li Ying comforted and handed Zhang Qian a tissue. Wu Wu. Ying Ying, you don't even know how excessive Lin Tian is. Isn't it just giving my little brother a house as a gift to get married? He just tried to pass the buck, and even more outrageously, he even made the condition that if I wanted a house, I had to exchange it for my first time. Upon hearing these words, Li Ying was also filled with righteous indignation and directly cursed all eighteen generations of Lin Tian's ancestors. A house is certainly important, where is a woman's innocence important? However, Li Ying once again thought that the cheapest house in Shanghai would be six or seven million yuan. It seems that it's not impossible to exchange it once, even if it's inlaid with gold, it's not worth six or seven million yuan. Li Ying wants Lin Tian to offer her such conditions, and she will take a few seconds to agree unfortunately, she lost her first time in college, otherwise she would really want to give it a try. Li Ying fell into contemplation for a moment. Zhang Qian shook Li Ying's arm and coquettishly said, Ying Ying, what do you think I should do? My parents have been urging me. If I don't have a house, how can my younger brother get married next month? All right, there will always be a way. I am your best friend, I will definitely help you with this matter. Li Ying's sudden questioning of warmth and coldness moved Zhang Qian completely. Ying Ying, you are the best. We want to be good sisters for life. At 21.30 in the evening, Long Ziwan Community. Lin Tian was sitting in front of the computer at this time. As soon as the US stock market opened, he bought all the shares of Sinopharm Technology with his own capital of $170 million. Each share was $18.2, just like the previous life. Finally, I have bought everything. Lin Tian lit a cigarette and took a deep breath, now waiting for this golden chicken to lay eggs. Two hours later, Lighthouse Country Snow Pharmaceutical Technology Company held a press conference, announcing the successful development of a new anti-dot-cancer drug. As soon as this news was released, the company's stock directly hit the limit up in less than half an hour. Lin Tian knew that not only was it today's limit up, but the stock remained in the limit up stage for the next few days. Fortunately, he joined the game early. If he wanted to join now, there was no way out. Lin Tian opened a bottle of red wine to celebrate, and then he waited to collect the money. Over the next two days, Lin Tian kept an eye on the stock market from time to time. During this time, he received a call from Mr. Mo, who was worried about obtaining the certificate. 
he said that his three property certificates had already been completed. When Lin Tian received the property certificate, he was also surprised. Lao Mo's craftsmanship was beyond words, and he was absolutely mistaken for the real. As long as he didn't go online for testing, most people wouldn't be able to see it. Lin Tian is not in a hurry to find a high-interest mortgage to get money. In three days, his own money in the stock market can be used, and the construction plan for a safe house must be ranked first. Three days later, the stock price of Snow Pharmaceuticals no longer rises to the limit at the beginning of trading. The current stock price has risen from the original $18.20 to $91.1, a significant 5.fold increase. This stock has almost stabilized, and Lin Tian has no desire to continue holding it. He sold all his stocks and earned $680 million with a capital of $170 million in just five days. At this time, the balance of Lin Tian's bank card reached 757 million yuan. Chapter 10 Start of Safe House Renovation You are listening at NovelFull.audio The next day, Lin Tian arrived at Blackstone Security Company again with great enthusiasm, and Zhao Ying Wu was still the one receiving him. Lin Tian directly transferred 133 million yuan to Blackstone Security Company, so that 30% of the initial construction cost has been fully paid, and the villa renovation plan can start soon. Mr. Lin, we have prepared the materials for the villa renovation in the past five days. When do you think the renovation will start? Lin Tian certainly didn't want to wait for a moment, but there were still many things in the villa that needed cleaning, so he set the construction time for tomorrow. Everything was discussed properly, and Lin Tian finally asked about his purpose for coming today. Mr. Zhao, I came today to ask if you can get this thing here. I want to do some self.defense. After speaking, Lin Tian made a Bayubiubiu gesture with his right hand. Zhao Yingwu narrowed his eyes slightly before whispering, Mr. Lin, since you are a major customer of our company, I won't deceive you either. I can't get the long ones, but I can get the short ones. So, I'll give you a phone number and you can contact me yourself, but if you leave my door today, I won't recognize this matter anymore. Lin Tian made a gesture that I understood, and then Zhao Yingwu gave Lin Tian a number. After leaving Blackstone Security Company, Lin Tian eagerly took out his phone and dialed the number given by Zhao Yingwu. Dudu Dudu about 20 seconds have passed, and the phone has finally been connected. Who are you? A man's hoarse voice came from the other end of the phone. I was introduced by Mr. Zhao and wanted to find you something short. Lin Tian didn't hide his intentions and directly stated his own. 200,000, cash is needed. I will contact you in three days. Doodle the other person hung up the phone directly after speaking, afraid of saying one more sentence. Um, are they all like this on the mixed roads? Lin Tian shook his head and drove his Porsche Panamera back to the Longza Garden community. Because the villa is going to be renovated tomorrow, he must go home and tidy it up again. Upon returning home, Lin Tian collected all the furniture, appliances, and other items in the villa and headed towards Building 8 not far away. There are high-dot-rise residential buildings and villas in the Longziwan community. Earlier, Lin Tian's parents made money by doing business and bought two houses and one villa in the community. Room 2201, Building 8 since Lin Tian's family moved to the villa, the house has been empty with a layer of ash inside. Lin Tian glanced at it and picked up a mop and towel to start washing. Xiaolin, why are you here? Lin Tian turned his head and saw a young woman in her early thirties standing at her doorstep. She was 1.72 meters tall, with a plump figure, a high chest, fair skin, and her black hair casually coiled around her head, exuding a charming charm. What a beauty! The person who came was Qin Wanqing from room 2202, Lin Tian's neighbor. The Lin Tian family lived in room 2201 before moving to the villa. At that time, Lin Tian's mother and Qin Wanqing were very familiar and had a good relationship. Since the Lin Tian family moved to the villa, 
the contact between the two families gradually decreased. It's Sister Ching. My villa is about to be renovated, so I'll move in for a while, Lin Tian replied with a smile. Qin Wanqing took a look at the messy room and angrily glanced at Lin Tian before walking directly in. You said, how do you know how to tidy up a house as a man? Sister, come and help you. Without hesitation, Qin Wanqing picked up a cloth and a basin and went to the bathroom to collect water. Ah! Uh, is it so proactive? Lin Tian couldn't resist for a moment. Not to mention, with Qin Wanqing's joining, the pace of cleaning up has also accelerated a lot. Lin Tian eventually became a laborer, mainly because Qin Wanqing was busy with work. Oh, it's already past eleven o'clock. Xiaolin, please tidy up yourself first. I'll go cook first and come to my house for dinner later. That Wanqing sister, I'll just order takeout later. Lin Tian doesn't want to owe favors, you should know that debt of favors is the most difficult to repay. What kind of takeout to eat? It's all pre-made dishes that are unhealthy. Once it's ready, that's it. You can tidy it up yourself and I'll call you later. Without waiting to refuse, Qin Wanqing had already twisted her waist and left. Lin Tian smiled bitterly and had to pick up a mop to continue cleaning. Forty minutes later, Lin Tian was called home by Qin Wanqing, and the table was already filled with four dishes and one soup, with a fragrant aroma. Look at the sweat all over your head, it smells so bad. Go take a shower first and then come out to eat. Qin Wanqing went to the bedroom and handed a set of clothes to Lin Tian, saying, I just bought it for your brother. In. Law. You should wear it after washing, and this towel is new. Hurry up, otherwise the food will be cold. Lin naively wanted to refuse, but as soon as he thought of Qin Wanqing's kind words, he swallowed them again. Quickly, there was a splashing sound of water in the bathroom, and Qin Wanqing was placing dishes. Suddenly, she remembered that the clothes she had changed in the morning were still in the bathroom. Not good. What if Xiaolin sees it? Qin Wanqing's face was now blushing with embarrassment. As she expected, Lin naively saw that the inside of the small basin in the bathroom was still black lace. Hee <laughs> hee, it seems that Wan Qing is quite interesting. Ten minutes later, Lin Tian took a shower and returned to the living room. Qin Wan Qing had returned to normal and greeted Lin Tian for lunch. During this time, both of them remained silent and the atmosphere was a bit awkward. After finishing his meal, Lin Tian returned home to continue cleaning. Qin Wanqing then returned to the bathroom and saw that her personal clothes were still intact in the basin. She breathed a sigh of relief to herself. In the afternoon, Qin Wanqing helped Lin Tian tidy up the house again. As the saying goes, working together is not tiring. In less than three hours, Lin Tian's house was almost cleaned up, and at least he could move in normally at night. After the extremely cold end of the previous life, there was little news about Qin Wanqing's family. Lin Tian only heard in the community that her husband Lu Weiliang gave her and her daughter to someone else for the sake of survival. As for the outcome, Lin Tian is unknown. Hey, since he owed a favor, Lin Tian felt that before the outbreak of the apocalypse, he would remind Qin Wanqing to stock up on more supplies, which could be considered a way to repay the favor. As for whether the other party listens or not, Lin Tian cannot control it, and there is only so much he can do. The next morning, Lin Tian received a call from the security booth, saying that there was a convoy outside who was going to renovate a house in the community and asked about the situation. Lin Tian went downstairs directly to the security booth. The person on the phone was a man in his forties named Mo Dehai, and everyone called him Uncle Emo. Lin Tian smiled and handed Emo Dehai a bag of soft peaches, saying with a smile, Uncle Emo, let the convoy come in. They are here to decorate my villa. Emo Dehai sniffed the smoke in his nose, looking very pleased, and then said, Oh, it turns out it's your home renovation, Xiaolin. You just need to make a phone call to confirm, and even go there in person. As he spoke, 
he picked up the remote control key and opened the door. Lin Tian waved his hand and the convoy drove into the community. A young man in his thirties walked towards Lin Tian. Hello Mr. Lin, I am Huang Zhan from Blackstone Security Company. I will be fully responsible for the renovation of your villa from now on. Lin Tian nodded, shook hands with the other person, and smiled, then let's trouble brother Huang Zhan more from now on. Mr. Lin, you're welcome. It's my job. Lin Tian led the convoy to his villa and handed it over again, so he didn't have to worry about the rest. After working hard for so many days, his villa is finally about to start renovating, and Lin Tian is also very excited in his heart. This will be his reliance for survival in the afterlife.